So hello guys, this is the, a, video, a quick video to, uh, to show you the final result uh, for the SDR transmitter. So you will notice according with the previous video I was using a, a different sound card, which is mostly for testing. Now I am using the Xonar from Asus, the U7 MK2. So you will see the, the difference, especially with the, the, noise, the noise floor. So you will notice here the noise floor it's about uh, between 115 between uh, up down uh, down to uh, almost uh, 120 so the the quality is quite good you will see a few, I did a few adjustments with the lpf and so on so the the final result it's is quite good so you will see compare with also the hermes light uh, to compare the quality of the the the, the audio and the quality of the signal. So here this is uh, I hope there's some voilà, people salut, working. Salut, yeah. porte-toi bien. Salut patron, tout seul là. Et puis à bientôt. Oui, V6, bravo Victor Québec. Ouais, ouais, oh, t'inquiète pas, je suis pas malheureux. <laughs> so now this is with the Hermes light. So a switch quickly the antenna switch so the quality of course is good but you will notice here the noise floor is a little bit higher it's not so bad of course it's uh, below 100 and minus 114 but it's quite good also so but uh, if we, I can compare the MS light on the, this product uh, I will see the, the quality is almost equivalent so I'm not I'm quite happy about the final release, about the final, uh, the finalization of the of the Ombru uh, SDR. So here, this is the the final uh, main board. So here, you will notice only uh, five chips. So it's quite, it's not a lot. <laughs> In fact, it's quite uh, a little uh, according with uh, the chips I am using. About the transistor, there is a uh, five transistor if I can remember one, two, three, four, five. There is one transistor for the output power, so about only 50 milliwatt. Here, this is uh, the transistor for the uh, pre amplifier. Uh, there is some attenuator also I present in the in my blog. So the different chips according with the TX or RX. So there are some chips also uh, that are using uh, commonly. Here, this is a chip so mostly to uh, to switch the external LPF. Here, this is a extension for external LPF. If you had with uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, transmitter with this is what I wrote in my blog is only uh, about uh, 50 to 60 milliwatt so obviously I'm using uh, external transmitter and later on I will drive the, the LPF of the external amplifier with uh, this uh, connector so this is a nine bands uh, connector of course I can link some band together according with the LPF you are using uh, it's quite easy to, 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 uh, to, uh, to set up so here this is of course uh, rx on tx so for the moment I'm, I'm using only on on rx the tx is working perfectly the spectrum is very clear i will put also some uh, measurement result on my blog so the harmonics the imd and so on is really really good so i'm quite happy about the final product here this is the the main display so the the front panel of, of the the transmitter is very simple there is one display two switch uh, the input for the microphone the output for the 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 headphone the switch for the audio card here the sound card will be at the back i will put after some extension and i put at the back you will notice i use a lot of ferrite you know a lot of toroid and ferrite in order to reduce uh, uh, the all the the spurious and interference here this is what i'm talking about the asus xona u7 mk2 sound card definitely i, I recommend this, this sound card uh, the 
the signal to noise ratio is about minus 114 if i can remember and it's true it's uh, the noise level is very very low and you you will notice if you watch the first video when i present the sdr the difference between this sound card and the, a cheap one if i can say it's not so expensive. I, I think, unfortunately, this is the most expensive part of this transmitter because the total price for this transmitter, I would say it's about 50 to 55 euro only. It, the cost is very, very, very low. Uh, I use a good quality component for the capacitor and resistor. I order most, most of them in uh, Mausa, but it's very cheap because it's a very... Uh, there is no uh, special capacitor or special resistor. This is standard uh, uh, resistor and capacitor, but this is a genuine one uh, with a good quality. The relay are coming from uh, AliExpress. This is a, a cheap one, but they are working well. I'm using with another SDR transmitter and they are working well. I'm quite happy about this product. I will put the link in my blog uh, where to buy it and the exact model for the, the, the filter I'm using. So, so far so good. This is the, the final release. This weekend it will be in a box in a case, uh, I have already the enclosure, the old enclosure I was using for my UBTX and um, I will use it uh, for uh, for this transmitter, I will keep very simple. The front panel will be very simple. There is uh, because everything is controlled by uh, power SDR, and I don't need, uh, of course, uh, the, to have uh, so many switches on on uh, control in the in the front panel. Uh, there is also in the front panel here the encoder. That means you can control the VFO with power SDR or with uh, I will try to do the encoder, you see, uh, from the front panel. You have the choice. In fact, it's up to you. It's up according with the configuration. And um, uh, that's, that's it. So, 73 everybody. And uh, we'll uh, present the, the final uh, product when it will be in uh, inside the enclosure. This is Foxtrot 5 November, Papa Victor going on QRT. Bye-bye.